What's up, champions? Theric Six back with more Legends of Runeterra, and today we're going to play some Vladimir. I don't know why I'm at Expedition. Shut up. It's fine. Um, as I said uh, in the <laughs> in the deep video, uh, I wanted to next show off a Vladimir deck. Vladimir is probably still my favorite uh, champion right now. Jeez, I get all these names mixed up. Uh, Probably just my favorite. I love the aesthetic of him and his Crimsons. Uh, and I also just like the gameplay style. So, I'm just going to go through. This is a 3 Vlad, 2 Sejuani, and 1 Swain deck. Uh, whose main goal is to essentially hurt my own self. My own self? Hurt myself and my opponents. Hence the name, We All Bleed. We have 2 Brutal Steel in the deck. Uh, this is to help against like some of the early aggressive strategies. Uh, I know there's a lot of super low to the ground creatures right now. Uh, and that that like always happens at the beginning of uh, a recently new release set. So we're seeing a decent amount of aggro, and I just want to make sure that I don't, you know, die out of nowhere. <laughs> because there are things like um like this running around. So being able to frostbite my opponent's version of this, uh, whatever that may be, is helpful. Uh, two Elixir of Iron. Uh, it only gives, it doesn't grant, so grants uh, makes it so it's permanent. It only this only gives, but this is often enough fine, especially because this is a one mana uh, plus four buff, right? Giving this to something like a Crimson Disciple or even just a Ruthless Raider is going to really help at the survivability of my own creatures, which will decrease the survivability of my opponent. The three Crimson Disciples are just kind of the best uh, Crimson, I think. Uh, good old fashioned 2-3. When she survives damage, she deals two to the enemy um, Nexus. And when that is linked with Imperial Demolitionist, who deals one damage to an ally unit uh, to deal two damage to the enemy Nexus, means that with just these two cards, I can deal a total of four damage to the, ally, <laughs> to the enemy Nexus, which is just crisp. Ruthless Raider is just a generally strong card because the number of effects that we have right now, um, most of them just deal one, right? Transfuse deals one to an ally. This deals one to an ally. Um, for what it's worth, this buffs a little bit. So the tough really does go a long way. And being uh, being a two-mana card with three power that has Overwhelm means that I'll be able to hit my opponent uh, more often, which will help me get Swain and Sejuani up. Jeez, <laughs> these names <laughs> um yeah transfusion this card is just the best uh this is one of the strongest cards in the deck because it not only triggers my own crimsons um it also just allows me to dodge so many forms of removal it allows me to have a, a sweet burst uh burst speed um combat trick it's it's just one of my favorite cards here three crimson curators if he survives damage, I get more Crimsons. I do love cards that make more cards. Maybe, uh, I'm going to skip that for right now. Uh, three Ember Maidens. This is a card where at round start, we deal one damage to literally everything. Our Nexus, opponent's Nexus, all of our uh, follower allies, all of our allies, and all of our uh, enemies. So, she does hurt herself, uh, which does mean she's going to die relatively frequently. But she is fantastic by herself at leveling up Sejuani, Swain, and Vlad, uh, so it's just, it's just, uh, she's, she's just decent, she's just real decent, also, she just destroys spiders, which is always nice to see, um, even though I, I think spiders was, like, my first video I've made, I have one Death's Hand, one Might, and one Noxious, uh, one Noxian Fervor, and one Whirling Death, I don't know what three mana spells are the best, <laughs> so I have Death's Hand, because it deals two damage to an enemy unit, and one damage to their Nexus, Two damage is not a ton. Like, it's fine on a fast spell. You know, uh, at three damage, you do have to have a downside, um, as you can see in P and Z's um, card, whose name I can never remember, Explosion or something. Um, but th this, at the very least, still deals three damage at fast speed for no downside. Uh, and it, you know, it helps uh, level up Sidrani and Swain. Might just gives our, one of our creatures overwhelm, and some of our, sometimes our creatures can get relatively swole. Um, so having that is nice. Uh, it's burst speed. Uh, Noxian Fervor, we can hit one of our own things to deal three damage to anything. For what it's worth, like, we don't necessarily care if our creature, if our unit is going to die. So this can just kind of be, you know, we attack and then whatever survives, you know, we can kill it with our Noxian Fervor and then we hit our uh, our opponent's Nexus. So I'm just not sure. It seems good. I, I just don't know. And then Whirling Death, we have a bunch of units who want to be damaged if our opponent doesn't want to take the blocks to damage them, then Whirling Death should be good, but I don't actually know. 
Scar Thane Stefan. Uh, <laughs> you hit him for one. Who boy becomes a 5 3. Seems decent if you can give it something like, uh, I don't know, might. Uh, it's pretty strong. And just generally speaking, he just becomes real big, real fast. If you can transfuse onto him, if you can brittle seal on, or not brittle seal, uh, elixir of iron onto him, he just gets real scary. One Bloodsworn pl Pledge. This one is Grant. So you'll notice that we increase three total mana for only two additional uh, points of toughness or points of health or whatever it's called in this game. Um, and that is purely because it's permanent. Being able to permanently give uh, our allies plus three uh, is fantastic. Two of our allies. Two Crimson Awakeners. It triggers all our things. It's just nice. Swain levels up when we've done 12 non-combat damage this game. Um, non-combat damage helps with Ember Maiden. Helps with Imperial, Crimson. Um, I believe te yeah, both sides of these count. So this is three damage by itself. Um, so it, Swain should level up relatively easily in this deck. And he becomes bigger and we just do stupid things. Um, Vladimir... Is, is Vladimir. I'm, I'm not going to explain Vladimir. I've played Vladimir deck already. And Sijuani, you have to damage that enemy nexus in five different rounds. So typically that's only going to be during your turn. But thanks to cards, because of like attacking, but thanks to cards like my um, Demolitionist, Crimson Disciple, um, Ember Maiden, things like that, it shouldn't be too hard to, to meet this requirement. And she does very similar things to Swain in that she really messes up um, our opponent's ability to attack and block and stuff. And then lastly, I have Ursine Spirit Walker. Plunder is just dealing damage. When I first saw this card, I thought it was in a, like an attack trigger, like Raid or something. But no, it just, if you've damaged the enemy Nexus, so this is actually super easy to get, and I didn't realize that, because this just becomes freaking one swole and gives all of our other five plus power creatures overwhelm. We're, we're not going to have too much of a hard time making our creatures big. Like, many of these things just transfuse. They become five Xs. Right, it's it seems like it'll be real strong. I don't know. Let's hop into the deck. I know I, my Legend of Rune Terra. Um, we'll play versus a person. Uh, my Legend of Rune Terra deck text are all still a little longer than I'd want them to be. Uh, I, I'd prefer to aim for these being about five minutes. It's just it's so hard knowing where to give the the real detailed stuff. Okay, going against, um, I assume discard aggro. We got Teemo in there. Uh, we, we always keep this, essentially, and I tend to get rid of everything else. Um, we're going second, so we attack second. We attack on evens, which is decent. Um, although, we actually would rather attack on odds here, just so that they can't play Teemo, immediately use Teemo. But I think, I think this is the hand that I want here. Uh, this is my emote spread, by the way. We've got the obvious hello with the Vlad. Sad Poro. Sad Poro is everything. Yeah, it is aggro. Uh, so that's going to be painful. I think instead, I think because it's this, I might want to just play Ruthless Raider here. I'm just going to play Ruthless Raider. This can't block. This deals more damage. Um, I think that's still fine. Yeah, that's still fine, I think. They can open attack. I go down to 13. I guess, I guess in hindsight this would have been better. I am just going to play Scarthane. This makes it so they really don't want to attack with these. Although they probably still will. Um, hell, they even might not want to attack with that. Fearsome? Sure. So they can attack with a Fearsome for sure. Okay, well, I get to decide where my blocks are going. Um, I think I want this. That way I have a decent attack with my... Thane? Yeah, so next turn I... Next time I can play a Crimson Disciple attack and I have Transfusion. Which can do some really stupid things. So yeah, I think this is what I want to do. Another day, another I'm already at 10. Not exactly where I'd like to be. But 
I'd rather have a Disciple out. What is Sojourney at? Sojourney's still only at one. What about the rest of you fools? One, one, none. Um, I hmm. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Crimson's a three. I th hmm. I think I would rather play Curator here. Then I Smork in. They might block like that. Fuck that card. This this card is too strong. It's it's two. Sure. I get two triggers off this, which is nice. And this lives. Um, but yeah, this is this is two mana for five five stats, which is technically seven stats. Okay, so two, four, that, okay, that's just a fuckload of damage I can't deal with. Okay, ready. Yeah, and they open attack, because that is pretty much just better. Block. Block. I go to one. I've lost this game. Before my sixth turn, I've lost this game. Oh, uh, man. I really needed Ember Maiden there. This shouldn't be in the deck. Oh, right. I forgot I made it. Let me show you what I can do. I'm, I'm certain I'm dead, though. Yep. Get excited. Damn. I guess, I guess knowing that my opponent was on... Super aggro, I should have... I should have looked for the Ember Maiden. In the mulligan page phase. Hindsight's 2020 and all that. Was I talking about something? Oh, emotes, right. Eh. I, I should totally do an emote tier list. Okay, so we have at least Thresh Trindamir. So I assume my opponent's gonna start off pretty aggressive with spiders. But have a decently solid mid game. Uh, I like Ember Maiden. Do I want to keep Vlad in this hand? I don't want to keep Transfusion, I don't think. I actually think I do want to keep Vlad in this hand. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to put nothing on turn two. They did nothing on turn one. They've done nothing on turn two as well, which is very strange to me. I guess I am just. Okay. Uh, apparently, Turbo Conceit is not just a deck in uh, in Magic. Turbo Conceit can be found even here. Ooh, okay. Twisted Fate Nautilus. So I think this is going to be like a, a super heavy draw deck. I think this is going to be trying to draw. Which means I have actually like no idea what cards they're going to be playing. Like none. I have no idea what cards they're going to be playing. We got a turn two and a turn three. Still probably this on two. It just hits things. Fight or die. They might have Horn Toad. Yeah, Thorny Toad, I mean. So I'm going to not attack. Oh, I'm so stupid. Why would I not attack? I forgot to set tough. God damn it. All right, I'm not going to live that down. Uh, I am just going to... Well, that's just rude now, isn't it? A 
Damn. Ah! Oh, such a oh, such an error on my part. See, that is not what I expected, though. I'm fine-ish with how that went down. Quick to start off by attacking. That is fine. I got a toss two. Having that be tossed is nice. So I was wrong. They just have twisted fate for some reason. They just see monsters that happen to have twisted fate. Sure, it's a four four. Um, let's see. I have four. Let me show you what I can do. Let me show you what I can do. Uh, yeah, let's just hit. For the Empire. We smorkin'. Make the Empire proud. Ooh. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. I can only put one of them out of range of this, so I think I just don't care about it. I love a man with... And just play something that I can kill this. Swain's already at nine. Sejuani is two fifths. Not what I expected. I guess I just want to get the damage through there. No way they're playing the nine damage or the nine mana board wipe, right? Do I just do I just open attack here? Because if I play Vlad, right, like. I can play Vlad and then use this proactively. I'm just worried about being punished by not open attacking. Sure, I'll play Vlad. And you must be supper. Devastation Tide? Is that what it's called? I don't remember. One suffers, another. Bottoms up. I guess I sound a little more like the curator there. I have the name. I need the reputation. Duty, 
Marvelous indeed. Not even close to deep. Lifesteal? You're not gonna get a chance. Say hi to Amber Maiden, baby! Alright! He's gained life during, during, during... On the attack! On the attack, dumbass! Um, let's plop this out, I guess. I need the reputation. I don't trust anything. I think I'm just gonna go to eight. I think I'm just gonna go to eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eight, eight. Well, I guess I can block here. Not the face. Um. Yeah, I just don't trust my Vlad. There's no way they're doing nine damage to me. I did make it so they're gonna gain a bit more life, but it's fine. Lol. Another Vladimir. Boop. Let me show you what I can do. Blood isn't a toy, dear. People are. <laughs> People are. Oh, I love the Crimson so much. If I were to cosplay, I'd probably cosplay as him. Except without the weird... These things. Oh, that's just fucking rude, dude. Uh, let's go ahead and... Hmm. Less health. This card's great in this deck. I have more health now. <laughs> Weakling. I didn't get a chance to to cup at them. I didn't get my Vlad cup. How many games have I played? I don't. I don't know. I'll play another one though. Area Z Karma. No idea. No idea. I do, I will say, I do like the Garen board. Garen board, Garen sleeve, Dairy Z Karma. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not a fan of that hand. It's okay, because I have this. Mad respect to that, though. Drew Vlad and a Swain. Oh, my gloomy boy. I'll try anyone. Let me show you what I can do. Delicious. Let's see what you can do. Is that all? He doesn't get value out of this. I I get triple value out of this. Why would you attack there? Hello, dear. What have you gotten us into now? The bloodier, the better. Shout out to Sejuani. One, two, two. Oh, transfusion. It's exactly what I was looking for. No. You won't get past me. You won't get past me. I'm chilling, thanks. My turn. 
how do I want to go about this? So I, I have transfusion, so I have five minutes, so I can transfuse and whirling death. I think what I want to do is this, 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 this. I guess I technically could have hit that to save my uh, Edvin. Baron Lifesteal, that's fine. Because they don't actually fight each other, I just strike it. So I'm, I'm actually really fine with that use there. Three, three, five. Four, four, five. I'm fine kind of throwing this unit away. Like, either it's decent-ish removal, or I get the damage through Health Message Juani out, and allows me a plunder on this. Yeah. Now me Big Chunk. So that's a setup card. Won't really matter until next turn. Is that Darius Karma? Uh, I guess it makes sense if they play Zed this turn, because then that'll double buff. Three damage to this, three damage to some Zeds, maybe? Straight to the attack. Okay, that's fine. I'm totally fine taking a two. I think I'll probably just play Crimson Disciple. At this moment, I don't care about... For Is that Grant or Give? Grant. Okay, so that stays. Uh, That's fine. I don't think I care about just 4 damage. Is it worth it for me to use Might here to keep this alive? I don't know. I could also just murder this, I guess. This is also six damage. Wow. All right. I mean, they do deny me the damage, but it's a double culling strike that I don't think I'm concerned with, to be honest. Eight total mana. Fucking Vlad. It's just fearsome. This will have Overwhelm, although I won't have enough to grant my allies power. I think I want to play this and attack 
fight or die. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is what I want to do here. Yeah, I don't care about your dumb spiders. I only have three cards left. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, that's fine. I could get denied here. I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Oh, you're in for it. Hmm. Well, I definitely want this to live. So hopefully I'm granting that. I think I'm going to grant this one. Just because it works with my Vladimir a little better. Okay, let's see what my opponent has. They didn't have Deny. They might have another one of those um, barrier life gain cards, or life drain cards. Nope, they had nothing. So I've got Vlad and Sir Johnny. All I need now is Swain. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, I level up Swain. I played this first, I think. I don't think I care if this dies, to be honest. This would take no damage. This would deal two damage. I don't care if this dies. Because I just want to have all three of them leveled up. They're so cool. My aesthetic. <laughs> Fucking rude. Rude. Five. Swain. By my hand, not a surprise. Oh, see, that's just rude. be. I'm at five, so I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried about, you know, dying. You cannot escape. It's too 
too late for you. If I recall correctly, Overwhelm doesn't actually work with this. I'm just triple checking. Well, this was five months ago, but... For bed, I was too worried about the situation. Times may be wide. Okay, I think that it does work the way I want. Okay, I think it does work the way I want, but I don't actually know if it'll still matter. Okay, potentially, potentially they're dead. By Xaxes. No! No! I mean, I'm dead now. I didn't, uh, I didn't keep my one thing. Man, fuck off with your Brom wave. I could not have played around health potion. My opponent gave me a massive BM. That's not that's not cool. <sighs> fucking Brom wave, are you serious? I mean at least it, it, fucking where where is it? You know, I'll accept I'll accept a gotcha. I'll I'll accept uh uh fucking uh, a time to duel, uh, you're next, a well played, but fucking Brom wave, dude, are you serious? No, stop it. Get some help. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank my lovely patrons, especially Zen, for continued support. If you'd like to join them in supporting the show, you'll find links to that down in the description below. Uh, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, go and tap that like button, comment, subscribe, all that fancy stuff. Uh, until next time, though, I'll be one.